Hey, I'm Dr. Terrence Espinosa. This video will cover some common features in Blackboard Ultra that students will use. Uh, in fall 2024, uh, Nelson University switched over or began switching over to Blackboard Ultra. And so across my classes, this will be uh, useful if you want to learn some of the common student features in this new version of Blackboard that we use for our learning management system. So we'll talk about the syllabus, we'll talk about the calendar, we'll talk about how to submit homework, uh, we'll talk about how to find your grades, and then lastly, uh, how to use the module system and course content, and, and then how to use the course outline in there as well. So syllabus, calendar, homework grades, course content, and course outline. Those are the things I want to cover today. So first of all, let's look. At, first of all, let's look at uh, Blackboard. This is Blackboard. This is a Windows 11. Um, P this is a Windows 11 PC, uh, and this is full screen mode. Uh, and it looks like this. The main difference between Blackboard and older version on Blackboard Ultra is that Blackboard Ultra has taken the menu bar that used to be on the left side of your screen or in the little pop-up menu and split it into two. So we still have a, a little menu bar here on the left side of your screen. Um, but then we also have a, a bunch of tabs across the top. And so a lot of the features that were all in the single menu bar are now split across the tab on top, the tabs on top, and across this menu here. So the first thing is the syllabus. Uh, the syllabus is here under books and tools. It's on the left side of the screen on this machine. And uh, there's a pop out on the right when you click books and, and course tools. I'll try that again just to show you. On the left side of the screen, books and tools. The pop out on the right shows up. Simple syllabus there towards the bottom of the list. Simple syllabus is the, uh, the button to click and that should take you right here to the syllabus. All right, so uh, they want you to read the syllabus, and when you've read it in entirety, click the Acknowledge button. Uh, and so if you're on an on-campus class, we'll talk about it on the first day. If you are online, then you, of course, watch the video and then go through it that way. But uh, here on Blackboard, uh, you see right on the top is my name and the semester, the dates, uh, contact information, and then it just goes and it goes through from there with the basic syllabus. Uh, basic syllabus information, required textbooks, and so forth. And you just scroll down. So that's where the syllabus is. Um, yep, there you are. Uh, again, the syllabus is in the Books and Tools button, and it pops out, and you have to find the link there. The calendar. Now, this is a feature. This is, a, for me, a generational thing. I don't necessarily rely on digital calendars because I was born in the last millennium. But I understand a lot of students use it this way. And so the calendar, at least in my machine, pops up in the day view. I prefer the month view. And since classes start in September, that's where you, you know, you'll see all the dates. So this is a, a, an on-campus class that meets Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So the assignments are due Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. Um, if you click on the assignment, it takes you to that day. And I click on the assignment again. And there you are. A little pop-up on the right side of the screen it shows you how many points it's worth. You can start your attempt, and when you start your attempt, if there are uh, handouts or if there's something associated with the assignment in Blackboard, that'll show up here in this screen. So on this particular handout, uh, I have three. It's the same handout in three different versions, whichever one's easier for you to use. Uh, you can click, you know, here, and, and it'll drop down. You can download it by clicking the three dots ellipses there. And so you pick the file you want to download for me for this assignment. You download it, you fill it out uh, you know, IRL, or you fill it out on your device. And then when you're done, you submit it. And so here's how you submit. On the bottom of the screen, the Submit button. Oh, so this is the Canon assignment. So I have a second screen here you can't see. I'm taking the file from the second screen. I'm going to drag and drop it here. There you are. And then I sh should, okay, if I want to add a note, I can you know, say have a question or good old Lauren Ipsum. Don't write this with your assignments, but if, you ha if there were a case, like in my Hebrew class, sometimes I'll ask for comments or questions here. This is a way you could submit your questions along with the actual assignment you've uploaded. Uh, submit. After you submit, you can't edit. Do you want to submit? Yes. Click Submit again. And then here's a little thing saying it worked. Now, if it were me, I would download the receipt 
and the receipt looks something like this. Um, you don't have to, but if you just wanted proof that you submitted it, sometimes as a faculty member, I can tell you sometimes uh, in the older Blackboard, a student would submit something and then something went wrong. Maybe their Wi-Fi broke or maybe some corrupted file happened or just something happened where I can see a submission was started but not completed. So the student thinks they submitted it. I see they don't. I'll tell them, hey, so it was, was submit, resubmit. There's a problem. And then we grade it, no problem. But if you want to avoid any of that hassle, just make sure you've clicked all the way through and Blackboard says you successfully uploaded your file. And if you wanted to, you can take a screenshot or download the receipt just for safety's sake. But again, that's, that's up to you and your faculty member uh, in the class that you're taking. So that's the calendar. Now, the, as faculty, again, have been born last millennium, uh, this is okay, but I've had times in the past where the dates didn't quite work or something got reset or we do, I mean, we do spend a full day, you know, at least probably three days this, this year, uh, updating Blackboard, making sure everything is, is ready to go, making sure the dates are where they need to be. And still, sometimes a date will be off. So if you're relying on the calendar to do your thinking for you, you're having to trust that your faculty members and the Blackboard system um, just haven't glitched. So this is fine. This is one way to, to use it. Normally, it works just fine. But um, just you know, know that the calendar isn't infallible, although it does tend to work well. So nor it used to be we had the course outline in our syllabus. So how do you know when things are due? beyond this calendar here. I'm going to jump ahead to course outline, and then we'll come back to the other um, issues we want to talk about, um, grades and modules. So if, in fact, if you go here to content, this content view, it's the top tab on the top of the screen. That's how I look at Blackboard and I enter it. This is how it should look to you as well. You have uh, the modules here, one, two, three, all the way to seven. Module zero is the first day, and often in my classes, module zero and module one are the first week. Um, so in module zero, this is where we put things you need to have on the first day. In module zero, you'll notice the, um, it stays in the same screen, there's just a drop down. This feature here actually is the other new thing in Blackboard, the other major new thing. Uh, Blackboard that we're used to using, you click on something and the screen reloads into a new page and you go inside that way. Now you click on a screen and there's a drop down. And that, that's how modern websites tend to work, it's easier on phones, so that's why we're doing this. Uh, these are all the files inside this module, uh, links to things, a uh, FAQ or FAQ. Um, if there's a further subfolder, so here in this particular class, there are some, some videos, some slides that go through videos. Um, if there's assignments, if there are assignments, they're right here. So as you look at the drop down, just pay attention to the kinds of things that drop down. If there's a folder, open the folder and look through it. The first thing for me, and this is again a vestige of the older methods, uh, a thing called the course outline or course schedule. So it used to be in the syllabus you hand out in paper on the first day of class, you have this feature as well, which tells you, at least my classes, every single day what our topic is. It tells you what to read before class or read that week, and it tells you what's due that day. And so this I control, it makes sense. I made this calendar, others have a similar grid view of the class and this used to be it and then we switched to learning systems online that have calendar features and all of a sudden the calendar with all the tedious dates became really important even though as faculty in my mind this course outlines really the the guide for your class so uh, I'm in my 40s and if you have faculty members um, who think this way they could be older could be younger just make sure you print out or find this course outline, download it the first day, and this should be your guide through when things are due. If there's a discrepancy between the course outline and the calendar on Blackboard, at least in my classes, ask, and then go with the course outline. And then whatever I say is, you know, the answer, maybe there's a, a problem on my part somewhere, but generally I default to the course outline um, if there's disagreement with the course outline and the calendar in Blackboard. So this, yeah, this is, tells you, um, you know when to do things so that's another feature that's useful and I'm realizing this is maybe more generational than than I would have thought but this is what we used to use before we had calendars doing the thinking for us online um, so there's the course outline and then here's how to use modules so again you have the course outline out you'll notice for example um, well, there's no module zero that's the very first day module one lasts for the rest of the first week 
when we go to our second week of the semester, we're in module two. Third and fourth week, we are in module three. The end of the fourth week, we start module four. So this course outline not only tells you the assignments, it tells you what module to open and what day. So this is, I, I think, a useful way to start navigating at least my classes. You'll have to check with faculty um, for how they run their system. And then here you are. Here's module one. Uh, you click in there again. There's an introduction. Then there's there generally should be two subfolders. Again, answers may vary based on your faculty member, but here is a readings and resources folder and an assignments folder. Readings and resources will have the, the assigned reading from the textbook. It'll have a video. If there's a video, I include slides from the video there as well for you. Other links from the video are here. Um, other things that are, are optional and it just goes down the line that way. So that's what's in your readings and resources folder. In terms of assignments, things that are graded there in the assignments folder. So if you didn't find an assignment in the calendar, or maybe uh, you missed the calendar and you can't click on it for some reason to find the assignment, you can always go into the correct module and look for the assignment there. That's where, that's where it lives. So here's the assignment we submitted for earlier. And I could go through the process again and submit. Now, sometimes if you submit a file and it's the wrong one, um, some classes let you resubmit, others don't. You have to talk to faculty to ask them what to do, but at least try, because I know in my classes I have it set for multiple submissions for just this reason, because Blackboard keeps track of submissions. I know your first, second, third attempt, and if I think the second attempt is some sort of malfeasance because you got the answers, then I would just take the first attempt. If it's an honest mistake and I say that's fine, I'll take the, the last attempt. But Blackboard keeps track of all of them, tells me when they're submitted, um, and here's a way to find them in the modules if you need to later on the semester. All right, so let's recap. Let's see here where we've been so far, where we're going. Now we talked about the syllabus. We talked about using the calendar, and I gave you a perspective from at least this faculty member on the calendar. It's useful, but you want to verify it with the course outline. That's point number six. We went through submitting your homework and showed you how to submit a file to, to Blackboard. I haven't shown you grades yet. I have shown you course content modules and how to use them. The um, Besides splitting the menu across the tabs and the left menu bar now in Blackboard Ultra, the other feature is when you click on something, you stay on that page and there's just a drop down. And that's as faculty that looks that way when we design courses, as a user, as a student, that's how it looks when you navigate through a course. So that's the other jarring but really useful feature in Blackboard Ultra. So let's go and then course outline we mentioned already. Let's go back then to grades. How do you check your grades in Blackboard? Well, there's a button called Gradebook. I'm still in my student preview mode. And there you are. Uh, here's a gradebook. Hmm. So, okay, so this is, um, it's interesting. So in this class, I went through this class earlier this summer and the date should reflect our fall start date. I'll check after this video, make sure they're on the up and up. But here, the dates are from the spring. And so there's red because it looks like all my assignments are past due if I were a student in this class. Um, if you're in a class this semester and and this happens, um, oh, okay, I see. Uh, talk to your faculty member, particularly in 2024-25 as we roll out new classes using Blackboard Ultra, they may have issues like this. So it looks like what happened, just to be fully transparent, uh, I did update all the new assignments. They're all down here with the correct fall due dates. But even though I deleted the old assignments, there's something in the Blackboard and uh, the Blackboard gradebook where what I deleted didn't actually delete properly, so it still reflects as if all these spring assignments are still there. So this happens. This happens particularly when you're going to new systems. As always, faculty teach the classes. AI and bots don't, and faculty can override whatever Blackboard says. So for example, if I were a student this fall and I saw all of a sudden I have a bunch of assignments that are past due and it looks like I have zeros for them and I'm panicking about my grade, first step, don't panic. The teacher, not Blackboard, controls the class and you just send a nice email saying Dr. So-and-so or Professor So-and-so, I noticed this issue, can we talk about it or can you give me some guidance here and we'll work it out. 
but in general, um, once everything's worked out, you'll see all your assignments that are due that semester. You'll see what you have and haven't um, looked at. You'll see what your grade is when the grade's re submitted. Um, and that's that. What I do want to say, and I think it's probably fair for faculty, one difference between university and high school is we don't grade things um, automatically or as quickly as high school teachers. High school teachers do an incredible job, and that system, while it's similar to university, has some differences. And at least in my classes, and a lot of our classes, we tend to turn around grades in a week or two. A week is our goal. So within seven days of, of submitting something, we should have a grade back for you. So it's not right away, based on the high school model, but it's within a week. If it's an assignment that is requires some, some intense gradings, a paper, then it may take a little longer. Um, but don't expect to submit and have an automatic grade unless we have it set up where the bot is doing the grading for us. It's like a multiple choice test or something. Um, but again, the faculty will cover this in the first day lecture anyway. But I, before I get too far removed from my focus here, let's go back and talk about, again, where we've been and um, just to review. So uh, we're using Blackboard Ultra. This is fall 2024, and I'll leave this video up for as long as it's relevant. Um, we talked about how to find a syllabus. We talked about how to find a calendar. We talked about submitting homework in Blackboard. Uh, we talked about uh, how to look at your grades right now. Uh, we talked about the course content modules, how to use them, and then the course outline and what that is. Um, the course outline and calendar have a, the same function. In case they both tell you when your work is due, but they're both still in place in class. All right, well, that's it. Hope you learned something. If not, sorry, it happens. Uh, and we'll talk to you uh, next time. God bless you. Bye.